Hi and welcome to my channel and welcome to this episode where I'm starting a new thing on my channel which is a let's play series. The game will be Dead Space 1 and I want to get straight to the point so I'll start the intro movie and I'll talk to you more after that. Further ado, let's get going. I hope you enjoy. Sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. It's sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Ms. Daniels. EG7 is a gold mine, according to Prospector's reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's yes, low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures a go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track, we're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tethers damaged. Switch to manual, now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No, we can make it inside. Corporal. Gave you an order. The field's too strong. Is everyone okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to All fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from flight deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. So this is my first Let's Play series on my channel. And I chose this game because of a couple of reasons. First reason is that this is one of my favorite horror games that I've played so far. Even though this game was released in 2008. Use run to move quickly. 
The second reason is that I'm playing this on the hardest difficulty, which I haven't done before. You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. And the third reason is that I recorded a playthrough of this game on hard difficulty, but the videos were so laggy and stuttering, so I wanted to record the whole thing again. Guess the power's down everywhere. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. But that security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power! Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Here's the notator system to find your next objective. Doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around's gonna be difficult. The air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did Not sure. The hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. So the Plasma Cutter is the first weapon you will get in this game and it was a viable weapon at least on the hard difficulty but will it be a viable weapon on the hardest difficulty? That's the thing I want to see in this playthrough. And in this difficulty, one thing that I'm worried about is ammo. And what do I mean by that is, I don't want to run out of ammo at any point of the game. But let us see how I'll manage in this playthrough. Use health packs to replenish your health bar. 
ship. This is Benson. Everybody, listen up. They're using the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from Gal! Get back! Get back! Isaac, <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge, but first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Here's the map. So let us see our first objectives, what we have to do. So we have to replace the damaged tram. And the other mission was to get some kind of key. So let us see which way we have to go. We have to head this way first. Um, now it would be a proper time for a bad joke. So, buddy, how's it hanging? Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. Functioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. So for all of you who doesn't know what the power nodes are, you can upgrade your gear with those, basically. brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the tracks, it's gonna jam up the whole system. Replacing damaged tram car. Please stand by. Isaac, 
You did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. Now that we have done the other part of the mission, let's head back and do the other part Tram of the mission. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. Um, yeah. So before heading forward. I want to see if there's anything valuable in here, in this place. Like for example in these toilets. And what I'm looking for is some meds and ammo. And maybe some credits, if I'm lucky. But let us see. At least we have some ammo and meds. And what do we have over here? There's something. Is that credits? Yeah, it is. Nice. So now, before I head forward, I want to wrap up this episode. So this was the first episode of Let's Play Dead Space 1. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me in the future, maybe consider subscribing my channel. But, uh... Until the next episode, have a great day and bye bye.